We're going to see on the loser side here, we're going to see Shears and CTG. Yeah, so Shears uh, a little warmed up now. So Shears actually won 2-0 against CTG, uh, and I would say Shears would probably be the underdog in this match if it wasn't for when they played earlier, and he won 2-0, so. Yeah, and that was a, I'm pretty sure that's the first win Shears has had over CTG in over a year. Uh, their last, I want to say, five or six meetings have gone in CTG's favor. Wow. But uh, Shears is, like, very, very confident in the fact that Yoshi can do this matchup. Uh, and, you know, he's finally getting that execution down. Yeah, and that was a really great recovery there. He kind of stalled with that down B. Mm -hmm. But... And uh, I like what I saw from CTG where he broke the armor and uh, threw out another attack afterwards just to make sure Yoshi goes off stage. Yeah. And this is just uh, such an explosive matchup in general. Uh, both of these characters can kind of body each other. Yoshi was has, having just insane horizontal combos on uh, Jigglypuff. And Jigglypuff, we've all seen, uh, you know, the drills, the up tilts and rest. Yep. And the grabs, too. Yeah, just fo like grab, forward throw, rest is so easy. Oh, and look at that DI from CTG <laughs> to avoid those F tilts. We know that Shears wants to F tilt to F air right off the stage. And CTG with some furious DI. That was insane. And uh, great from Shears, though, just to keep on the pressure. Not getting exactly what he wanted, but uh, knowing that he would have to adjust uh, eventually to that DI. Yeah. And this is like uh, CTG is a very aggressive Jigglypuff. And I think. I think it doesn't really lend itself to this matchup to come at Yoshi so hard because he can parry so much. Um, oh, you can parry so many of your moves and uh, <gasps> right great there, see option there. So I think what we saw there is, uh, you know, you, if you do a shield drop, you get a frame of invincibility, and then you can just convert that straight into the super armor from Yoshi. So a lot of frames to play with uh, to get a free hit on. Uh, Jigglypuff. Okay, so that's what he did against that up tilt from CTG with that down air. Oh, and just Shears is on point with his super armors right now. He's gonna have to be. Ooh. Lands a dash attack. A nice nair as well. Oh, and and great placement of the egg, just sniping him. Scrambled. <laughs> <laughs> so Shears with a stock lead here. Oh, and a tech error, but. Yeah, not the worst position. Oh, oh, but CCG just going for it all and having it pay off. Yeah, and you see they're laughing about that. Uh, that's not a big hitbox with that down air with, uh, from Yoshi, and it's not a very big hitbox in the up air from Jiggly either, but... Oh, up smash? That should do it. Yeah, wow. Game one goes to Shears, and that was a fast and aggressive game right yeah. there. Yeah. Like, uh, I think we've all seen this matchup from, like, the more campier angle, right? where uh, they're both just trying to control top plat and just kind of trading hits here and there until they get the big opening. But these two, they just want to make it happen right away. Yeah, it looks like a, a Rocky movie. They're just going yeah, at each other, just pounding, it. just slugging away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Say one thing about CTG. Say he's aggressive. Let's see if Shears can get another one here. See if the old magic is still there. And a little slow on that Nair. Uh, I think that would have converted into a uh, forward air off stage, but hard to say. And I like what Shears is doing there, where uh, if uh, CTG floats out the Nair, um, he can just kind of jump into it and super armor the weak part of the Nair, knowing that it's already out there. Right. Uh, land, you know, land something free after that. But CTG just having really no part of that. Already up a stock. I see Shears having some some issues on the plats when he's shielding. He's, he's rolling when he doesn't have to a bit, and I'm not sure if it's a tech error. Yeah, I kind of thought it was before, but yeah, I'm thinking he wants to just go for uh, shield drops in most of those situations. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's a decent place to be too. It's gonna be hard for yeah Shears to get to him. Yeah, that was very smart of CTG, just making sure to float in between the platforms. Good nair. Good timing on that uh, that tech. When a Jigglypuff rests and you are spawning uh, and and you think you can land a hit or it's going to be close, a lot of the time you want to just get down there and bait out, wait out that roll. Yeah. Like, because uh, I think that's the first option that comes to mind for most Jigglypuffs. Uh, some of them are a little jump heavy, but like, 
Uh, especially with uh, Yoshi's horizontal movement, you can really catch that roll and punish it hard. Man, it's some crazy DI on that F tilt again from CTG. This time he DI's away. And Shears couldn't follow it up. So Shears down two stocks here. That's going to be one. So. Yeah, Shears keeping it very competitive right now. Uh, we've seen how explosive this Yoshi can be, so it's going to have to stay away from moves like this. Oh, come on. Third, third time's Dang. a charm, and that rest will do. It doesn't matter if he's not going to make it back on the stage because that's David Shears' last stock there. So it's 1-1. One, one. And yeah. CTG's on the board in this uh, in this matchup now. Yeah, so uh, already looking a little better than, uh, than their pools play earlier. Um, yeah. It's taking a deep breath now, and they're getting into game three. So again, best of five here. So we're going to see another game from this, uh, from these two either way. But this one's pretty important. Obviously, they're all important. But oh man, and oh, let's see the punish. Oh, oh look wrong at way. And was that because of Di or? I, I guess think the it initial. Helped. Yeah, I mean, I think the initial hit. Oh, but Shears just keeping the pressure on and making sure he uh, at least turn that uh, scenario into a KO. Oh, and that's a great <laughs> up smash to challenge that forward air that was coming out from Shears. And it's all tied up. And CTG attacking a little early. Shears still with some invincibility. And she great escape from Shears there. That could have been very bad for him. Yeah, and again, and again he doesn't. He's been doing that a lot. He's, he's really good timing with that, with that down air. I'm pretty sure uh, most characters against Drill on Shield, uh, you do have a frame advantage. And that fastest option is usually just that shield drop. Yeah. Escape. And Shears' timing on that is really, really good. Oh, rare mistake from Shears. Yeah, and Shears but, uh, just missed that forward air on the left side. And uh, will that do it? No. Still got a chance to scramble him, though. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, CTG just uh, looking like he was in trouble, but just weaving his way back on the stage. And this could be another stock here. Um, CTG opts not to go for any arrest combo. And uh, I would like to see from Shears maybe after one of the eggs, uh, possibly going out and challenging Jigglypuff. Seems to be just only relying on the eggs to get the KO yeah. on the recoveries. And it's not going to be over that easy. You got to got to force the issue a little more. <laughs> So CTG up a stock again here. Just got to chip away. Yoshi's definitely one of those characters who a lot of the time you kind of have to, oh, I guess he can rest. So he doesn't necessarily have to chip away. But good, good parry there for Super Armor. Oh, and reads the roll. And that's a stock. Man, and that down air to up tilt, uh, that's really nice. Sets up an, an up air for the stock. Yeah, and just uh, that up tilt, just useful in every matchup of Yoshi's just because it has that fixed knockback. Um, so just about every conversion that, if it works the first time, it'll be guaranteed every time unless you're dealing with insane DI. Right, right. So interesting. I guess on Pikachu, there's a lot of cool stuff they can do with that uh, perfect side plat land and then up smash. Oh, yeah. I feel like a lot of the time, if you do get caught with the up tilt as Jigglypuff, you're too far away to, for Yoshi to follow up. And I think it's because you're usually not that low when you get hit by it. Maybe you're, you're coming in from the air. But after a down air, you're, you're coming from the bottom of the stage. So you're still in range for that up air. So she switches to Fox. I, yeah, I haven't seen his Fox too much lately. Um, I didn't realize that he lost confidence like that in his Yoshi there, though. Yeah. It, <laughs> That seemed like close enough to try for another game, right? Yeah, absolutely. But, but I just, he just feels, I don't know, definitely feels pressured if he's uh, switching it up entirely with Fox. Yeah, I mean, and this is this is could be his last game, so he doesn't have a game to play around, you know, and test this this theory out. So yeah. So far, looking pretty good though, but uh, CTG very wise in that uh, edge guard attempt and just turns it right around with that upper to kill. Yeah. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to not give Cheers uh, Fox its credit, but because I mean they are tied up right now. But I wouldn't have thought this is a good move. Yeah. So let's see. Let's see how he does though. Hope, hopefully he proves me wrong and they. It's a tight game here. 
So far, he's not looking too bad, but um, yeah, this is a little, yeah. Just things like that, that that can happen with Fox. We were talking about glass cannons before. This this character is. Yeah, I think he embodies that the most. Yeah. That easy and off the top too. So CTG going to go unpunished off that rest. Yeah, and that's uh, that's exactly how you want a rest to end from that top platform, and because obviously that's the easiest place to be punished from after uh, after your opponent respawns. And this is looking like it's going to be over quick right now. It shears off the stage. Oh, oh and he down pokes him with the oh, <laughs> and he goes for a big rest. <laughs> Still with two more stocks to play with though. Oh man. And Shears took game one, didn't he? So it looks like yeah. CTG's gonna just a straight three in a row right after that. Yeah, just gonna get his his revenge from pools potentially if Shears doesn't pull out a miracle here. Yeah, he's gonna need a probably a lot of these edge guard scenarios and maybe a shine will make it Oh does he CTG landed. does have his jumps. Oh good stuff from Shears. Yeah, this is a good edge guard so far. Ah, good recovery from ah, CTG. He's gonna do it. And he, he did read that roll 